All right, day 24. <laughs> Loving the beat. It's not your typical summer camp with fun and games. These kids are learning teamwork and other skills from firefighters. Shannon Murray live at the Fort Worth suburb of Saginaw with a look at fire camp. Good morning, Tim and Lauren Wright. This is something really fun for the kids. One of the highlights for the week is the repelling. We have Brooklyn here with us this morning. She did the camp last year and was one of the stars of the camp, so she gets to come back and be one of the leaders here this week in Saginaw with the fire department. Lieutenant John Tadlock is here with us too. So repelling is really a favorite for the kid. It is. It's one of the it's the highlight of the week. All the parents come out to watch and it's a uh, it's real deal. They are really repelling. They're doing it themselves. We're not lowering them down as you saw a while ago. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a lot scarier than it looks when you get up top, but it's it's a blast. The kids love it. It's their it's the big deal. Tell us about fire camp and why you all do this. For the kids. Uh, it's awesome. I mean, some of the, the kids come out, they have a great time. You'll go to the grocery store, you know, later on in the year and you'll run into kids. They'll come up and talk to you. And remember me, I was in fire camp and I remember how to tie this knot or we got to repel or we saw you cut up the car. They love it. It's, it's great. Well, and as we just saw in the last hour of our show, you've had quite a few uh, men and women go through the camp and they actually go on to become firefighters. Yes, I think we're up to about six right now. So we've been doing this for about 20 years and uh, we're at the point now where those kiddos have gotten old enough where they've gone on and gotten a career being a firefighter. Well, and these are, they're learning some, they're having fun, but they're learning some serious lessons too along the way. Yes, I mean, they're learning life lessons. They learn how to work as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, there's consequences for their actions. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's pretty informative. All right, good job, Brooklyn. Thank you. You know, I just did the rappelling right before our live shot. These guys were all giving me a hard time because I got up there to the top. I thought it would be easy. It wasn't. I was shaking. I'm wearing heels right now, so um, just repelled down this wall. It's much higher than it looks, by the way. I'll post a video from that on my Facebook page. I thought I would do it live for you all, but um, did, oh no, is that the video of me right yes, now? Yes. In the heels. Where did you guys get that video? Oh no, I can hear myself talking. I'm like, wait a minute, that's me. I didn't realize. You all recorded on that back at the station. Thank you so much. Who could resist? How embarrassing because I know oh, that I, I didn't look the best doing that. <laughs> Brooklyn probably did a much better job than I did, Lauren did. Tim. Yeah. yeah, she did. Yeah, but she you look good. She wasn't wearing heels either. Thank you. Thanks. True. Appreciate the support. <laughs> we love you, Shannon. <laughs> Well, when they're oh, young, they don't know thanks. how, you know, how dangerous it is. They're not as scared, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, they're a, a little more bold. 